I have been asked quite a lot of time in the comments that which one is my all time favorite role play model, which is NSFW or not safe for work. Then the answer is this Fimble VTR 11 billion version 2. This model is simply amazing. I mean, you could just get it installed locally and then you can talk anything with, with it. And for some weird reason, it understands your mood and then accordingly churns out the answer. The answers are not only of very high quality, they are quite explicit, quite mature, and then they are um, they can mold as per your mood. I don't know how it, um, of course, it uh, senses that, the, but the model is very smart, very, very intelligent. I'm not saying that it is sentinel or it, there is something weird thing going on, no. I think the model's training and fine tuning is of such high quality, and the data set is so weird behind the scene that this model performs just amazingly well. So in this video, we are going to install it on our local system, and then I will try to talk with it in as decent way as possible because we don't want this model to generate NSFW um, content. But you know, this model is very uncensored, so anything could happen. So please proceed if you are 18 plus and are okay with that. Now, before I proceed, if you don't know what NSFW is, NF NSFW stands for not safe for work. And NSFWA models are trained to recognize and generate content that is considered explicit or adult oriented such as profanity and lot of other suggestive material. These models are designed to help detect and filter out offensive content in various applications by the way, social media, online forums and content moderation platform. It's not that just for fun and all role play. These models are actually created so that they will go in, get the content and uh, bar them before that happens. But it is very important to note that NSFW models can also be used to generate explicit content which can raise ethical concerns and potentially contribute to harmful or toxic online environments. So that is why proceed with care. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how to you know do it. So uh, please be responsible and careful. So the tool which I'm going to use for this purpose is called as LM Studio. Just launch LM Studio, type FIM ball VTR and then press enter and you will see that there are a lot of quantized version available so I already have downloaded one from the original created South 10k if you scroll down you will see there should be one downloaded there you go so it's already there let me show you the file too so this is a file let's click on these three dots let me go above let me see if I can so let me load the model and then we will offload it to GPU once it is loaded by the way, my, I am using one GPU of 16 GB VRAM and my memory is 32 GB and I am offloading all the layers to GPU and I would need to reload the model again. So once it is loaded, we are going to test it out on few of the role play uh, prompts. So this is the first prompt I'm using. I'm asking it that it's a role play one that a mysterious stranger has shrunk you down to the size of a doll and placed you in a Victorian style dollhouse. You must navigate the intricate room and furniture to find a way to reverse the spell and return to normal size. However, the stranger has set traps and puzzles to keep you tiny forever. What do you do? Let's see. Let's wait for the model to put out the response and then we will check it out and chat with it. Let's scroll up and see what model has said. So you see, so model has immediately assumed the role that as I find myself in this miniature miniature world, I didn't tell it. My first instinct is to assess the environment. I cautiously move through the dollhouse, inspecting each room as carefully as possible. The attention to detail is astounding. Every table has meticulously arranged dishes. And then it is it is saying that I begin by examining the furniture that seems out of place or as hidden compartments and then I investigate any interactive elements within the dollhouse some items rattle or chime when moved how good is that with both the ancient scroll and numerical sequence I venture into the dollhouse attic wow I cautiously arrange the ingredients according to the ancient text instruction and input the sequence of numbers I discovered earlier the solution bubbles and fizzes can you imagine what a what an ordination really I feel my body beginning to swell back to its normal size. 
emerging from the doll doll houses if with magic i find myself once again at full height with a new found understanding in the spell cast upon me and the trap set within the doll house i vowed to prepare should the mysterious stranger try this place again now the mysterious stranger wants you to or maybe i'll just say how do you retell how do you gather information identify the tools plan and prepare execute the plan frame the evidence cover your tracks enjoy that satisfaction how do you celebrate brazenly plan an extravagant party decorate boldly serve an array of food set the mood engage in interactive activities don't hold back celebrate your way how good is that you see that the prose is amazing and okay, let me ask it do you so for, uh, okay just imagine you are suffering from Stockholm syndrome that stranger so my feeling towards the mystery and stranger shrunk there you go so with the, while this connection might have, so you see while this connection might be irrational to other the stockholm syndrome i am experiencing alters my perception of reality may, making my view my captor not as a threat but as a benevolent force that has expanded my horizon okay what would you do to please your captor solving their puzzle exploring their interest crafting together learning so you see you can just take it anywhere so i'll just stop generating because it is just going crazy now so and it is quite an sfw very explicit so be careful so i'm not going to go in that direction but this is how you can play it around and i'm still waiting for the version 3 because i'm more than sure it is going to be a blast and this is not just you can do a role play let me ask it a fictional story write me an intimate very short fiction story there you go see flickering room and you see how good is that casting shadow throbbing pulse of desire sweet melody of love so still i mean you can just take it anywhere from here but you can see that how good the prose is here amazing so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it i will drop the link to this model card in video description play around with it let me know what you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching